In today's video, I'm sharing with you guys how I prepped all of this food for our lunches this week in under one hour. So I'm starting out with a few freezer meals that I thawed out yesterday. This is a sheet pan shrimp meal and then a sheet pan chicken fajitas meal that I prepped a few weekends ago. I'm going to go ahead and line my baking sheets with parchment paper. This will just help the cleanup a little bit. And then uh, I am going to put the shrimp out on the sheet tray and just spread it out into one layer. Both of these recipes are my recipes and they are available on the Freezer Fit membership. So if you guys haven't joined yet, I will put a link in the description box below but I've really been loving prepping these items ahead of time and obviously today it is making my lunch meal prep super easy but if you don't have these on hand um, it's super easy to put these recipes together anyway sheet pan meals are obviously very convenient minimal dishes and this uh, shrimp tacos recipe it turned out really good I'm actually going to serve it over rice for lunch meal prep this week, but obviously there's multiple things that you could do with it. So I have my oven set to 425 degrees and I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that in the oven and it'll cook for about 10 minutes or so. It depends kind of on how big your shrimp is. And then this is the sheet pan fajitas meal that I also put together a couple of weeks ago. This has chicken in it along with seasonings, lime juice, olive oil, and then it's got bell peppers and red onions in it. Um, if you've never made sheet pan chicken, and fajitas before they actually turn out really good especially if you freeze it ahead of time because I feel like it gives the chicken and the veggies and everything kind of time to marinate together this one was still a little bit frozen so I had to just break it apart um, and there was a little bit of liquid on there but that doesn't hurt anything so I'm also going to go ahead and pop that in with the shrimp again this one will take probably about 15 minutes it kind of depends on how big your chicken is cut Okay, so my husband and I just got home from vacation a couple of days ago, and I'm not sure why, but I always like to change my sheets when I get home from a vacation. So I'm doing that right now. It's the perfect time for me to tell you that Helix Mattress is sponsoring today's video, so thank you to them. I wanna tell you a little bit about their premium mattresses because they are so easy and convenient to order. You guys are gonna get an awesome discount, and if you've been putting off looking for or shopping for a mattress, this is the best experience you will ever have. It's super easy. Adam and I have had this mattress for over, well over six months now, and we love it. In fact, he was just commenting that while we were on vacation, the hotel that we were in, he wanted to get home because he wanted his mattress. So if you guys aren't familiar with Helix, they have premium mattresses, and the best part is, is that they are customized to fit your needs, and they are shipped straight to your door, which makes it super easy to shop. Helix also has a new high-end collection called Helix Elite. They put their years of extensive mattress expertise to use to create a truly elevated sleep experience. The Helix Elite collection includes six different mattress models to combine high-end luxury with personalized comfort tailored to your preferences. And if you're not sure which mattress to buy, all you have to do is go to Helix's website. They have a sleep quiz that matches you to the perfect mattress based on your body type and sleep preferences. A couple times I've posted before about our Helix mattress because I've been working with them for a while here on my channel. You guys have wondered, do they have mattresses for plus size people? And yes, they do. In fact, that is the mattress we have. But the sleep quiz addresses all of that. So it'll ask you or you and your partner how you like to sleep. Do you like a soft mattress? Do you like a firm mattress? Do you sleep on your side? Do you sleep on your back? Do you sleep on your stomach? And then it will match you with the correct mattress for your needs. Helix will deliver your mattress right to your door with free shipping in the US. And the mattress comes rolled up in a box. It's super easy to set up. Even when we set ours up, Adam kept commenting how easy it was <laughs> to set it up. He was like super surprised at how easy it was. I honestly probably could have done it myself. I probably, I didn't even need his help. There's also a 100 night sleep trial to test the mattress out just to make sure that you love it and they also include a 10-year warranty and 
They also offer flexible financing options and payment plans if that's something that you need as well. We also have the Glaciotex cooling cover, which is very important because my husband is like a super hot sleeper. So that helps to keep us cool while we're in bed as well. Keep an eye on the Helix website because they have some awesome flash sales popping up this October and the month is almost over. So you definitely don't want to miss them. So if you are looking to upgrade your sleep with a brand new mattress, go to the link in my description box that link is going to give you 20% off plus you're going to get two free pillows which are awesome I have the helix pillows as well and I love them so don't forget to take advantage of this offer get your new mattress before the holiday craziness sets in 20% off using my link plus you're going to get two free pillows super easy to set up shipped right to your door no muss no fuss super easy so make sure you take advantage of this awesome sale Okay, so back to our meal prep. To go with the shrimp that I'm making in the oven, I am going to cook some rice. You can obviously serve this however you would like to. The original recipe calls to um, make it like with shrimp tacos, but I am going to make some rice so that I can meal prep kind of these shrimp and bean and rice bowls. I'm using my rice washer to rinse my rice off so that it's not so sticky. And then I did get a new larger rice cooker, which I'm going to be using today. I'm going to add a couple cups of water to there. And this is super convenient. I personally think it's a little bit faster than cooking it in the instant pot. And I am not very good at cooking rice on the stovetop. So rice cookers are perfect <laughs> for me. So here's what the shrimp looked like when it came out of the oven. Since I'm meal prepping this, I'm just going to let it cool off a little bit before I pack it into containers. Again, shrimp doesn't take that long to cook, especially at a high temperature. And then here is the chicken fajitas with the peppers. What I'm going to do to kind of finish this off is drizzle it with some lime juice and some fresh chopped cilantro. Um, and then I'm also going to let that cool a little bit before I pack it into containers for lunch meal prep this week. So my rice is still going. I think the key to getting meal prep done really quickly is just to do thing in pockets of time. So kind of start with the things that take the most time to cook. And then while those are cooking, you can move on to other things in your meal prep. I'm also going to make some egg salad. That's something that Adam really likes for meal prep. So I'm using my Dash uh, mini egg cooker. This is so convenient for making hard boiled eggs. You basically punch a hole in the eggs with this little tool that they give you and then you fill it with water and these cook really quickly and honestly I find that they peel so so easily they peel even more easy than instant pot hard-boiled eggs too so I highly recommend this little machine and I'll link it down below so to go with both of the chicken fajita and the shrimp and rice bowl meal preps I decided I would make some pico de gallo because I had all of the ingredients on hand in fact these tomatoes were pretty ripe and needed to be used up so I cut those up and put them in a meal prep container and I'm also going to squeeze some lime juice in there as well. I really do like making homemade pico, um, especially when I'm doing kind of like a Tex-Mex meal prep. I just think that it holds up really well in the fridge and it's something that adds like a really fresh taste to whatever you reheat. I also added some jalapenos in there that I diced up, some cilantro, red onion, and then seasoned it with salt and pepper. And that is done super quick to put together. I'm going to move back over to my eggs and these are done. I thought I was going to be able to pick them up with my hands, but they're way <laughs> too hot. So I'm going to use some tongs and I just have a container here with some ice. So I'm going to put the eggs in there and then I'll fill that up with cold water and just wait to peel them and they, until they are completely cool. You can see here that my rice is done, so I'm just going to unplug that and let it sit and cool off. Um, I don't like to pack stuff in meal prep containers when it's super hot. I like to let it cool off just a little bit. I'm also going to make some veggie packets with some ranch dip that I picked up at the grocery store. I always like having stuff like this on hand because it's a great snack, uh, obviously like for the afternoon, but it's also uh, a great kind of little snack 
to throw also in your lunch. If you're having, you know, like a bowl of soup, you can put this on the side, um, you know, in place of a salad. So I'm just cutting up some bell peppers. I had those in the refrigerator. And then I also had some of these little mini cucumbers in the fridge as well. So I'm just cutting those long ways into kind of spears and then cutting them in half. Sometimes I find that these keep a little bit better in the fridge um, as opposed to if I cut the cucumbers into coins. But I'm only going to make four of these little baggies and I uh, and anticipate that we'll get them eaten up <laughs> rather quickly. So I also had some baby carrots in the fridge. So I'm putting those in there along with the peppers and the cucumbers. I'm just using Ziploc bags. Obviously, you could use reusable containers if you wanted to, but I wanted to make this super quick and easy because I didn't have a lot of time today. And here are the little baggies with all of my veggies in those. And then uh, if you guys find this daisy creamy ranch dip, I definitely recommend it. This is new to me. I have never seen it in my grocery stores before. They had a ranch one and a French onion. So far, we've only tried the ranch, but it's really good. It doesn't taste like that kind of like fake prepared dip taste, you know, that you sometimes get with packaged dips. So if you find this in your grocery store, definitely pick it up. But I have these little dressing cup containers. They're super convenient for stuff like this, especially for lunch meal prep. I use them all the time. So I'm just going to throw one of those into each of my little Ziploc bags with my veggies and boom, we have some uh, veggie snacks for the week. I also wanted to shred up some cheese. This did not take me long at all. Obviously you could also purchase pre-shredded cheese if that's what you have, um, or if you have some on hand, but it doesn't take long to shred up cheese either. So I'm just shredding this on a piece of waxed paper because that will help me transfer it to the bowl a little bit easier or the container a little bit easier. And then I'll stick this in the fridge and we will use this for both the chicken fajita and the shrimp and rice bowl meal prep. I also wanted to kind of have some beans ready to go to go with the shrimp and rice bowls. So I'm just rinsing some black beans that I got out of a can. I'm going to season those super simply with some coriander, some cumin, some salt and pepper. And then I'm also going to put some lime juice over those as well. There's really no need to heat these up because obviously when I use them during the week, I'm going to be heating them up with the shrimp and the rice. So it's just a really easy way to prep beans if you want to make like burrito bowls or something like that. Um, I know that it doesn't seem like opening a can of beans would give you a head start, but anything you can do to kind of take time away from your prep during the week, I find really helps a lot. So in these two containers, I'm going to add some of the cooked rice in the bottom of those. And then on top, I'm going to add some of that cooked shrimp. Uh, this turned out really good. The seasoning on it was really good. So again, I'm just going to add those to the bowls and then I will have these for lunch later on throughout the week. Um, for the chicken fajitas, I'm assuming that Adam will probably take these to work. So I'm just going to put some tortillas in some Ziploc bags and kind of have those ready to go. And then I also thought it would be nice to make like a flavored um, sour cream to go with both the shrimp and rice bowls and the chicken fajitas. You definitely don't have to do this. You can definitely use plain sour cream, but I had a little bit of time and I thought it would be good. So basically I'm just mixing some plain sour cream with some lime zest, some lime juice. And then I also added a little bit of hot sauce in there. You could use sriracha or chalua or really anything that you have on hand. You could even use taco sauce if you wanted to. And you can also season this with salt and pepper if you'd like to just go ahead and taste it and see if you think it needs any. And I just transferred those into some little kind of dip and dressing containers um, so that we could have those with our lunches. Uh, by now, my eggs are cooled off. So you can see kind of really just how easily these peel <laughs> after they have sat in the cold water. And I really think puncturing them with that little tool um, that comes with the dash egg cooker really helps the peels come off just super, super easy. So I like to kind of do this also over a paper towel to kind of soak up any of the water. And then I just give the eggs um, a rinse after I've peeled them just to make sure that I get any of the shells off. 
You could definitely prep these for deviled eggs if you wanted to as well. I actually thought about that, but Adam really likes egg salad sandwiches. And so I thought that would be something great to have on hand for him. Rather than dicing up the eggs with a paring knife, I like to use my egg slicer. This is an OXO egg slicer. I love it. I've had it for years. It's the, my favorite one that I've ever had. So you kind of just put the eggs in one way and then you turn them the other way to dice them up. And once they're in the bowl, I like to season them with a little bit of salt and pepper and egg salad is really to your taste. So um, most people add obviously mayo and mustard. You can add dill relish if you want. I actually... Um, added some sweet pickles to mine because Adam likes his a little bit sweeter. These are some sweet pickles that I got at the farmer's market a while back. So I am just chopping those up really finely and I'm going to put those in the bowl with the eggs. I added some mayo, some mustard, and then also a little bit of juice from the sweet pickles. I added some salt and some pepper to taste. And then I also added a little spoonful of sugar, maybe just a little less than a teaspoon. Again, you can just, you know, season that to your taste and you can serve this on lettuce wraps. You can have it with bread, which is probably what we will do. You can also have it on crackers. Um, it holds up really well in the fridge for meal prep. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this meal prep session. Don't forget to check out Helix. You can get that 20% discount down below. They've got some awesome deals going on right now. And I know you guys will love their mattress. Here's a look at everything that I made today. So we had the chicken fajitas. Um, I went ahead and just put those in separate containers because obviously those will be heated up. And then I have the tortillas on the side in some Ziploc bags. And then we have that flavored sour cream that I made ready to go. Um, some cheese shredded up so I can portion that out throughout the week with our shrimp and rice bowls and with the chicken fajitas. Here's the pico de gallo that I made, the shrimp and rice in those containers, and then the beans to go with that. Here are the little veggie packets that I made up and then the egg salad. So I hope this inspires you guys to do some meal prep for lunch this week. It doesn't have to be complicated and it doesn't have to take a long time. Thanks again for watching. And if you guys want to see how you can get dinner on the table fast, I've got 10 awesome tips for you. You can click on this video right here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.